Tens of thousands of scientists and engineers work in DOD labs, inventing technologies that benefit the U.S. defense mission and the American public. This is the story of a DOD invention that became successful through technology transfer. Military assets such as planes, helicopters, and marine craft are under constant assault from the elements, leading to corrosion. That requires regular and costly maintenance. Traditionally, hexavalent chromium compounds have been used to improve corrosion resistance and bonding of paints. They work well, but they have one big problem. The problem is it's a carcinogen. So it's, even though it works very well technically, it's uh, toxic to people and other animals. Craig Matzdorf and his team of researchers at the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, NOC AD, was tasked with developing an effective and safer alternative. Innovation and the development of new technologies is a core function of the Warfare Center. Uh, our successful partnerships with industry allow us to transition our innovations to the fleet. After three years of research, the NOC AD team came up with a non-toxic comparable performing replacement, trichromium pretreatment, TCP, that had one other very attractive benefit. It was designed to be what we call a drop-in replacement. So you don't have to buy any new special equipment. You can use it in the same process tanks, the same spray equipment, etc. It was now up to the NOC AD Technology Transfer Office and TechLink, a DOD partnership intermediary, to find industrial partners and commercialize TCP. We contacted about 35 companies uh, and provided data to them. 17 wanted to get samples of the material and test samples. One of the companies that requested samples was Chemion, based in Minden, Nevada, and experienced in anodized production. We wanted to make a commercial product out of it, and that's a very different thing than saying, well, we'll mix up five liters of this, uh, and we'll apply it or 100 liters of it. You know, we're talking thousands of gallons, and a lot of thought has to go into What's, what do you have to do to scale that for commercial? After evaluating the TCP technology and its commercial potential, seven companies applied for licenses. And there were five licenses granted, four in North America and one international license. One of those was Surtec International GmbH, a global company with an Ohio-based affiliate and worldwide sales that specializes in advanced surface treatment technologies. Well, we had to submit production capabilities, technical competence of all our technical group. We had to submit a marketing plan up to five years, the projected sales figures, and have a complete marketing plan that shows that we are capable of doing this. The investment in commercialization of the NOC AD TCP technology by these licensees has paid off handsomely. It has been a tremendous success for us. We had seen increase in sales and production year on year since the very beginning. TCP is being implemented by the Navy across a range of assets, including legacy aircraft like the F-A-18, and in the construction of ships, such as the new littoral combat ship USS Independence. The Air Force is using TCP in the F-22 Raptor, and on UAVs like the RQ-4 Global Hawk, and the Army on its Apache, Chinook, Black Hawk, and Kiowa helicopters, as well as an array of ground vehicles. Maintenance facilities across the DOD are adopting TCP, as are a broad spectrum of industries. From uh, aerospace to prime contractors, to the DOD and divisions of the DOD directly, uh, also auto manufacturers, consumer electronics. The construction industry, furniture, and so on. Basically, any aluminum product that requires treatment could benefit from this technology. Uses of TCP, ranging from heat exchangers to telecommunication, aerospace, electronics, and transportation, will expand exponentially after hexavalent was banned in Europe in 2017 and sharply curtailed in Asia. In the Asian market, um, China, the restriction on hexavalent chrome is, is really, really strict. TCP has generated tens of millions of dollars in revenue for the licensees, created jobs, and helped small companies grow. What enabled things to go right here was that there was a great team here at NOC AD, uh, a cooperative attorney, 
a tech transfer team, and inventive team that all got behind the idea of moving this technology out of the laboratory and into the marketplace. And their support really has been fabulous. And this is really one of the main uh, reasons why this technology is progressing the way it is. If I had questions, I could get to somebody who knew the answer. You know, somebody who's listed on the patent, I could get, I could get a hold of them. The relationship with TechLink allows that conversation and that creative process to move along. I think this is a great success story of technology transition and transfer. The Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division continues to invest in cutting edge technologies for the benefit of our warfighter. We are actively engaged in small and large businesses alike to transition our technologies. Department of Defense Inventions, benefiting the U.S. military and national economy through technology transfer. For more information about how you can work with DOD to license inventions and start a business, contact TechLink, techlinkcenter.org.